Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and this is going to be very interesting because we're going to be taking a look at some Forza Horizon 4 gameplay that they showed on a recent live stream uh, earlier today actually. Now, we're looking at the R32 GTR with the Rocket Bunny wide body kit gorgeously placed outside of one of the houses, and you can see that the detail is just absolutely beautiful. Now, one of the things that they did say in this live stream was that the Forza Vista, uh, you'll actually be able to walk around your car outside your house. Like, well, not necessarily walk around it, but look at your car outside the house. And for uh, vinyl creators and painters, you'll actually be able to see how the light hits your design without actually taking it out of the garage, um, which is like actually having to go out into the world with the car, which is really, really cool. Like, really cool. And I think a lot of um, painters are going to be really, really happy about that and really, really excited uh, to see that and see how that works out um, throughout the course of the game. So... In looking at the game, I mean, it's obviously very, very, very beautiful. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous game. And it's something that when you look at it, you just kind of, you just kind of go, wow. Like, wow, the, the Horizon series has come to this. And it's so much more deep than the previous games. It's so much more, uh, there's so much more depth to really everything that there, that you just look at it and you go, this is where we are now with the Forza series. We have these houses. We have, like, all of these different cars. We're getting, it's like 30 new wide-body kits. It's huge. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. And with that being said, I mean, I think there's a lot that we can see, you know, in terms of, like, future, uh, the future of the Horizon series as a whole. Um, not only, like, the future of the game, but, like, when this game comes out, wow, I am gonna be just... But yeah, when this game comes out, I'm going to be just like head over heels in love with this game. Now, one aspect that was very, very interesting to me of what they showed on the stream was the character customization. Now, you can see they have a bunch of characters here that they say are from Horizon 3, but they have been uh, basically had their resolution improved. They've been brought up to the standard of Horizon 4, and then they've been brought over into the game for you to choose, like pick and choose, and customize pretty much to your heart's content. And when I say to your heart's content, I, I, I mean it. I mean, there is a lot you can do here. There's a lot more that you can do here than I originally thought. I mean, you have your actual base characters that you can see. Um, I, I don't know why I'm trying to point at things, but you have your base characters that you can see, and then you can also see that you have your tops, jackets, um, like, you know, leg wear, shoes, all sorts of different things. I mean, they call it, like, tops, jackets, legs, feet, um, hats, and then they have, like, sort of, like, accessories and stuff like that as well, like, you know, eyewear and, um, nose stuff, which I'm sure, like, you know, can be, uh, they can broaden the scope of that, uh, later on. I mean, we have, like, gloves, like, driving gloves, but we also have, like, mittens and stuff for wintertime. Um, there's different watches, there's different emotes, there's a lot of different things here that you can actually dive into and check out and see, um, see what works for you, see what you like to use. And the interesting thing here is that none of the outfits are locked off per, like, male or female character. So, like, if you want to put your character in literally whatever outfit you want, literally, you can do that. And I, <laughs> I'm sure there are going to be some people that are going to make some interesting outfits for sure. But I'm, and I'm sure that there's going to be people that are going to make some realistic outfits as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this character customization. And uh, I mean, when I say like, you can put, you, if you want to put like leggings on a dude, you can. I mean, Horizon is not just about car customization anymore. It is about character customization and character customization to the fullest degree, apparently. So uh, that's going to be a really fun thing to mess around with, I think. And as you can see, there's a ton of different options from like t-shirts to like, you know, uh, like floral shirts to leopard shirts. Like you can do a freaking gold blazer. You can do a bomber jacket. You can do, um, you can do like all sorts of different things. There's really no limit here uh, to what you can put on your character. They've really actually gone way more in depth with this character customization system than I thought they would. And, and frankly, the character customization is kind of like a surprise to me. I mean, I figured that they would do it, but I didn't know that they would do it to this degree. I mean, this is really, really in-depth character customization, and uh, I'm really impressed. I mean, you can see, like, right there, the black leggings, purple leggings. I mean, if you want to do it, that's is up to you. I mean, you know, um, the, the, the skirts are there too. The running shorts. I mean, if you, it, 
If that is what you want, you can go for it. You can do the, I mean, you can do basically like shiny booty shorts if that's really what you want. <laughs> But anyways, so the actual concept of character customization, though, in Forza, I'm glad that they're having a sense of humor with it. I'm glad they're willing to go to basically whatever length of character customization that anybody would ever want. And I think that that sets them apart from a lot of other games. And I think that it not only sets them apart, but it really puts them in a position to where it's like, yeah, we can either do this really seriously and realistically, or we can have fun and be silly and do literally whatever we want. So that in itself, I think, puts this character customization system in a category of its own and I am all about that, frankly. I, I, I think it's going to be r really, really fun. And also, an interesting thing, too, is when you change a when you change your base character, it actually carries the outfit over with it, which I thought was very, very cool. And I was surprised, actually, by that. But I'm definitely not, um, d definitely not saying that that's a bad thing because I'm... Um, I'm all about, you know, I'm all about being able to, like, not lose the work that you've already done in character customization. So, definitely an interesting system, and I cannot wait to see how it plays out in the full game. I mean, I'm telling you, dude, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hilarious. And also, there's one thing that, uh, that y'all haven't seen quite yet that is definitely gonna be a thing, and these outfits are that thing. Now... Basically, all that they showed was a bunch of different chicken suits, and uh, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be a member of the chicken suit gang when the game comes out, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but I think this is gonna be a really fun thing to have in your character's wardrobe if you want to pull it out. And uh, I can't say I would use it all the time, but at the same time, I definitely think it would be something that would be fun to have just because, you know what I mean? Like, just because it's there, I think it would be a really fun thing to actually, you know, have for your character. And again, it, it goes to show that they have a sense of humor with this character customization system. And you can see all these different emotes here, you know, you've got like, you've got like so many different kinds of dance moves, you've got like you know, different, like, stances and stuff like that, if you really want those, and, man, I mean, they've really, really gone and fleshed this out to, like, a degree that I had no idea they would be doing, so, all across the board, I think that they've done an incredible job here with the character customization, and really, I cannot wait to see what else they show, um, in the coming weeks on these live streams that they're doing, and I'll definitely be highlighting different aspects of them here for you guys, um, this is the first of a couple of different highlights I'm going to do of this stream because there's a couple other things that I want to go really in depth on but I wanted to get the character customization out there to you guys and really explain to you how it worked because the character customization is something completely new for Forza and I think that it's amazing that it's here but I hope you guys did enjoy that video if you did don't forget to click that like button tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see y'all next time talk to you guys later